Hello children, we have now reached the exciting finish to the adventure tale Treasure Island. So, shall we complete our journey together with Jim Hawkins? Lesson 24 The Fall of the Chieftain The pirates stand dumbstruck staring at the empty boxes. Long John Silver realizes that they will soon turn on him. He hands Jim a pistol and moves into position for a fight. Jim is glad to have a gun but disgusted at the way Silver's loyalties change from moment to moment. So, you have changed sides again, Jim mutters. The other pirates leap into the hole that once held the treasure. Digging with their hands, they unearth a single two guinea coin that has been left behind. They pass it around, shaking it angrily at Silver. They are furious, but they are also afraid to fight. George urges the others to attack. After all, they are only facing an old cripple and a cup. At this moment, three musket shots ring out from the forest. George and another pirate fall and the other three flee. Moment, moments later, Dr. Livesey emerges from the trees with Ben Gunn and Gray. The doctor orders everyone to run through the trees and cut off the pirates' access to the lifeboats which are at a nearby shore. Silver, who knows that none of his new allies is particularly loyal to him, manages to keep up without any help. When Jim and his friends arrive at the top of a hill, they see the three pirates running in the opposite direction from the boats. Reassured, they slow their pace and Dr. Livesey explains why the treasure was no longer lying where Captain Flint put it. Ben Gunn has been marooned on Treasure Island for years he found Flint's gold one day and realizes that someone was sure to come back for it. Bit by bit, he moved it to the cave where he lives. When the doctor found out about the treasure's new location, he quickly gave the pirates the stockade, the food from the ship and the treasure map. Then, he moved the loyal men into Ben Gunn's cave to protect the treasure. Dr. Livesey pauses here to apologize for leaving Jim in danger. In the doctor's view, he had to do what seemed best for those who had stood by their duty. Continuing the story, Dr. Livesey explains what happened today when he learned that Jim had been captured. After leaving the stockade, the doctor quickly went and got help. He and his two companions rushed through the trees, but only Ben Gunn was fast enough to reach the site of the treasure before the pirates arrived. He stalled them by exploiting their superstitions, thus giving the doctor and Gray time to join the fight. When this story is finished, Jim and his friends, along with Long John Silver, walk to the boats. They sink one so that the pirates will not be able to use it, and they row the other along the edge of the island to the Hispaniola, which has come adrift but is otherwise in good shape. They leave Gray on board to keep watch, and everyone else goes up to Ben Gunn's cave. In the cave, Jim finally sees Captain Flynn's treasure, an enormous glittering pile of coins and gold bars. He thinks of the 17 men who have died in the last few days and of the unknown number who died at the hands of Flint and his crew. In spite of these dark thoughts, he is glad that he and his friends have won. Now that they are safe, Everyone sits down to eat a hearty dinner. Long John Silver sits among them, behaving as though he has been honest and loyal throughout the adventure. Lesson 25 
and last. The next morning, Jim and his friends get up early and begin loading the treasure onto the Hispaniola. The pile of gold is so enormous that it takes several days to carry it all to the shore and ferry it to the ship. During this period, Jim and his friends occasionally hear the three remaining pirates shouting in drunkenness or shooting muskets at goats. The doctor posts a sentry to keep watch, but the pirates never attack. It seems they are tired of fighting. After careful discussion, it is decided that the pirates must be marooned on Treasure Island. Nobody has the strength to fight anymore, and nobody is willing to risk another mutiny. Long John Silver, in particular, argues that his former crew cannot be trusted, not that anyone respects Silver's opinion anymore. Silver works hard and behaves just the same as the men who were loyal to the captain throughout the adventure. However, everyone hates him and wastes no chance to tell him so. When people insult him, Silver remains silent. Only Ben Gunn and Jim refrain from abusing him. Ben is scared of Silver and Jim has something to thank him for. Just before leaving the island, Jim and his friends put as many supplies as they can in Ben Gunn's cave for the benefit of the three men they are leaving behind. Still, everyone feels terrible as they sail away. The three pirates come to shore and beg to be brought home. The doctor tells them about the supplies, but the men just weep. Then when they are finally convinced that they are not going to get a ride home, one of them shoots his musket at the Hispaniola. The Hispaniola makes a rough trip to a South American port where they replenish their supplies and hire a full crew. There, Long John Silver steals a bag of gold and slips away. Nobody is exactly happy that they do not get a chance to bring him to justice, but they are all glad to be rid of him so cheaply. After the stop in South America, the journey home goes smoothly. When they arrive in Bristol, Jim and the men divide the treasure and go their separate ways. Each man spends his share wisely or foolishly according to their nature. Captain Smollett retires and Gray gets an education. Ben Gunn, meanwhile, spends all his money in 19 days and ends up a poor working man. The square bought him an inn. Now he is a great favorite with the country boys and a good singer in church on Sundays. Of Silver, we have heard no more. That terrible seaman with one leg has gone clean out of my life, but I believe he met his wife and perhaps lives in comfort with her and Captain Flint. I still have bad dreams of the surf booming on the shores of Treasure Island and of Captain Flint's sharp voice crying, Pieces of eight, pieces of eight. Activity time. Please solve this crossword puzzle by using the words from the word box. Hope you liked Treasure Island. Please try to explore the adventure books related to fantasy, mystery, historical, humor, animal, and fairy tale adventures. There are many little ways to enlarge your world. Love of books is the best of all. Stay safe and blessed. This is Ranjana Ramesh signing off.